I see people are popping on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Merlin. Good morning, Kathy. We got about one. Oh, it's about time we start. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So happy. Um, I get to do this this morning from my usual uh, way I serve. It's different, but uh, hey, to God be the glory. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Marcia, and I get the honor of leading worship at many of the campuses at Eagle Brook Church, and I just I feel honored and blessed to do that as I'm feeling honored and blessed to serve in this capacity this morning. And uh, um, I'm just going to share some things with you. Before we start, though, I just want to pray and uh, just ask God to bless this and to bless all of us as we listen and uh, just, uh, you know, just have his way. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this time with you. I ask you to just um, work with everyone, Lord Father God. Just uh, show them your way, show them your will, let your will be done over this um, time with you. And uh, just open hearts and minds this morning. We thank you and we praise you because you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. So um, I have my coffee. Everybody seems to have a cup and I got this cup from um, Eagle Brook and they sent it to me and I was so honored. I was like, oh, I'm going to drink a little coffee this morning. And since everybody shows off their cup, this is mine. <laughs> so thank you guys, whoever sent that to me. Um, I have a question. We always start with a question, right? And my question today is, have you ever, and just put it in the comments because I want to read them later as I go on. Um, have you ever had to forgive someone for something that others may think is insignificant or even you think it's insignificant? Uh, for instance, being cut off in traffic. You know, you don't know the person, but you're getting all upset. Or somebody drank your favorite beverage and just leaves that little bit and you're like, uh, why didn't you throw it away? That's one of my pet peeves. Or I have a cover stealer. My husband steals the covers literally almost every night, wraps himself like a burrito, and I'm literally looking at him like I wake up and I'm cold, and I'm like, man, really? Um, that wasn't in our vows. You need to share the covers, right? So I want you to put in there if you've uh, had something like that happen to you where, again, I'll repeat it, have you ever had to forgive someone for something that others may think is insignificant or you think is insignificant, but you've asked, you, you're asking for forgiveness for that. So with that, <clears throat> start putting in the comments. Anybody putting in the comments? Hi guys, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Um, with that, even though that seems simple, right? Those are kind of like silly things I'm kind of saying that, you know, my husband stealing the covers and um, stuff like that. But nevertheless, I have to forgive him, right? I have to show forgiveness, even in the simple things. But you guys, what about the hard things? Right, forgive a coworker, sure. I've had to do that many times. But what about the hard things, like the hard stuff, like that may seem unforgivable, unforgivable horrendous, tragic, um, Things like even the world says, you know, you really don't have to forgive them for that. You don't, you know. Um, but as believers, we do, right? Because Jesus says in Matthew 6, 14, and I know it's Jesus speaking because it's in the red. And he says, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your father will not forgive your sins. So God puts it on us. He is totally giving you your free will to forgive or not forgive. But then he is also telling you what he will or will not do if you don't forgive. So with that, keep in mind Matthew 6, 14, that scripture I just read. And I want to tell you um, about a, a true um, life story that happened actually to myself and to my husband, Kevin. And um, both our brothers were murdered. You know, they both died. And both our mothers, being strong believers, my mom's Louise and his mom is Hazel. They've gone on to glory. They're with the Lord now. Um, but they really demonstrated um, what forgiveness truly means. They walked it out in their faith. They just didn't say, I forgive. They actually walked it out. Um, 
mind you, my husband is from Michigan and I am from Trinidad. So his, this was happening in Michigan. We didn't know each other yet. We weren't married. And my, my family was in Trinidad at the time when both these um, deaths happened. And um, our mothers, not knowing each other, but they knew Christ, they went to the prison and actually spoke with these men that took their beloved children away. And, uh, you know, they had a right, I guess, you could say they had the right to feel the bitterness, the anger. We had all that within our family. We were like, why are you um, doing this? And at the time, I didn't understand. But as God grew me in forgiveness, I got to understand. And um, <clears throat> so they went, My both our moms went at different times, and they told these young men that um, not only, yes, they would have to spend the time in prison, I think it was one was a lifetime, and uh, one was probably over 20-something years. So, but they told them within that, they wanted them to get to know Christ, to be um, get to know who Jesus was and even though they would have to spend their time because of their crime in prison they would be freed in their hearts and soul for eternity if they accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior and my God that just blows my mind because I can't imagine um, going through that and still having the love and the forgiveness that God has taught us to go through with that so I'm saying all that to say our my parents, our parents demonstrated um, Ephesians 4, 31, 32. And that says, I'm going to grab my Bible here real quick. I just want to read it. I'm reading it from the King James, but you should get it from the NLT. Um, it says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, right? They could have chose to stay with that. Our moms could have chose to hang on to that anger and that wrath and that um, bitterness um, and all evil behavior. They could have chose to hang on to that. But they had the second part of the scripture where it says, and be ye kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. And I am so grateful and thankful that our mothers um, decided to listen to the word, not only he, uh, listen, they demonstrated, right? For faith without works is dead, right? They had the faith, but they walked it out no matter was it how hard it was. Was it hard? Of course it was hard. It was very hard, and it took years, actually, for us to understand, but my, our, especially my mom, I can say, because that's who I lived with, um, she showed that, and she never really spoke ill of the person or... Um, show them in a bad light she wanted them to get to know Christ she really did and um, anyway um, so I say all that to say you know my parents them they looked at Jesus as the demonstration right of who we have to um, for forgiveness and he is actually the best demonstrated because remember he um, was he was murdered he was spat on, tortured, beaten, all for us. And what did he say when he got to the cross? Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. He asked for forgiveness, right? For the people that were torturing him and hurting him. So that is like the ultimate forgiveness. And I just want us to um, really reflect on that, especially with the, the culture that we're living in today. It's so hard to say you did this, you did that. And so many things are going on. But you guys, if we're believers and we believe in what the word says, we have to do as Jesus said. And we have it has to be always be kingdom above culture. It has to be um, what God says versus what our opinion is. You know, we have to err on that side of what Jesus says. We have to be on the side of the Lord, not asking the Lord to be on our side. So we have to get that forgiveness um, just walk it out. I, I, I challenge you to, if something is really has hurt your heart or somebody's offended you or um, I know for myself personally, I've been some things that children should not go through, 
but I've been through it and I've had to forgive and there's freedom in that oh there's so much freedom in forgiving somebody that has hurt you to the core that you can't even maybe even speak about it or you have no words to explain what has happened to you but um, the Lord comes in and he just washes you with forgiveness and love and peace and joy all the fruits of the Holy Spirit and I'm just telling you today lean into Jesus stay focused on Jesus he is the one that can lead you through everything all forgiveness everything that you need to get through so <clears throat> um, that's pretty much all I have for you this morning I just wanted to make it uh, you know tell you a story about what's going on what has happened in our lives and uh, how the, um, God's forgiveness really truly does work and with that I want to pray for us and uh, just thank the Lord for the time that we got to spend together. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord. I pray that the words that were spoken um, rest on hearts that will receive them, Lord, that will receive your forgiveness, that will receive um, healing, that will receive your peace, that will receive your joy. And Lord, if people have forgiven other people, that's wonderful. But Lord, help them also to forgive themselves if they've hurt others. Help them to know that you've forgiven them and you, you they can now forgive themselves through you, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we praise you for just being such an awesome, magnificent Father. We thank you, Jesus. You are so wonderful. So we just thank you and we praise you this morning in Jesus' name. You guys, be blessed. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And just uh, just live for Jesus. It's the best and only way. Love you all. Thanks for joining me. Bye.